What's up friends? I am so pumped because I am standing in front of two dreams of mine that we have made reality. Uh, I'm excited to tell you about both of them. You've seen us ripping around in the Ford Bronco RTR as well as the fun to have off-road Bronco. And I finally have them both together and I wanna do a walk around and kind of explain to you guys the differences and the difference of mindset and product line for each the RTR brand as well as fun to have off-road. And so a lot of you know, RTR has been my baby, my passion for the last 11 years. I launched it with Mustang. We make products and vehicles for F-150, Ranger, and now Bronco. And Fun Haver Off-Road is a new initiative, which is a partnership between my Fun Haver Off-Road teammate, Lauren Healy, uh, who is a lifelong off-roader, future Hall of Famer, the winningest driver in Ultra 4, and an overall really rad dude. And we put our brains together to create a product line that is focused on the hardcore enthusiast. One thing that I have seen lacking in traditional aftermarket is people putting together cohesive packages for someone like myself or other enthusiasts to buy something, put on their car, and know it's all going to work together, you know? And so our goal is to develop complete performance systems, if you will. So to put it simply, you know, RTR is for the everyday enthusiast looking to get some more out of their vehicle, some more performance, some more style, uh, and some really great looking functional parts. Everything that we produce has some sort of functionality to it. So now moving on to the Fun Have Off-Road line, this is our solution for the more hardcore enthusiast. For the guys that are out running through the boulders, ripping through the desert and doing big stuff that want massive tires, you know, this is the line that was developed for you. Yeah, so let's do a walk around and, and I'll show you guys some more of the kind of differences and, and mindsets uh, of approach. So when you guys are making your purchasing decisions, you can be educated. All right, so let's start on the front of the Bronco RTR. So we've taken, basically, we have not made a front bumper, right? Uh, Ford spends a lot of time engineering, designing, making all the systems work with the front bumper. Uh, and so we wanted to keep that intact. But what we did do is we added some uh, bumper end caps, uh, which brings in a more tubular design. We got a little bit more approach angle and it also works and flows better with our rock sliders and our rear bumper, which we'll get to in a minute. Where you can see now the Fun Aver Bronco is a completely new bumper, super beefy, plate steel, uh, we were able to integrate the sensors uh, in the bumper, so you'll still have your sensors, but uh, there is some compromises. Uh, we have lost, you know, like most steel bumpers, you know, you lose the adaptive cruise control, and, um, you know, there is some compromises to get that hardcore uh, approach. So, but you can see how much greater the approach angle is of this bumper and this bumper. You can also see, you know, there's a, a skid plate that goes under, a uh, very, very beefy, beefy skid plate uh, that goes under there. So this is for, you know, if you're bashing rocks, you know, it happens. And uh, also if you're bashing in the desert, you know, geeing out on whoops and things like that. Like this is a very, very stout bumper. Uh, comes with a bull bar, without a bull bar, and also has provisions uh, for a winch. Uh, the winch can either be Frenched in like this, where you would cut your grill, and you know get it in a bit closer or it can sit out a little bit depends upon what what you would like um, but that bumper supports all that obviously really beefy tow hooks and of course the factory one has really beefy tow hooks one of my favorite products we developed on the rtr line is our grill you know it has a, a very unique style uh, very modern aggressive very i love i love the look of it uh, integrated lighting uh, this is a 3d printed pre-production uh you know prototype unit um, and one of the things I love most about it is that this center bar is removable and we have different center bar offerings. So you can have the full blackout center bar, we'll have a high flow center bar, as well as a center bar that receives uh, lighting. Very simple, literally take the factory grill off, pop this one right back on. It's a very, very simple install. Now looking at the uh, light bar, the Fun Haver Off-Road light bar is very inspired by uh, our race trucks utilitarian right it's like hey you want a light bar on the truck this is it it's tubular it's very simple uh relatively uh light and uh we have the project x uh series one ff7 seven inch lights up on the top you can also uh, mount a light bar on there if you want it's just a tube uh whereas the rtr uh, light bar approach 
was more of a stylistic approach. Uh, we were able to get the round lights a little bit lower, which was my personal style preference. And you can mount a, uh, you know, rounds on the front, or you can uh, mount a, a traditional, you know, rectangular light bar or whatever you want on there. So moving on to the fun out of a Bronco, you can see it's got bead locks on it, right? Everyone knows what bead locks are for. If you don't, it's for running super low pressure when you're off-road, climbing rocks and gnarly terrains, get you a better ride, get you a better footprint and more traction. Um, traditionally, bead locks are not DOT legal, but we are designing uh, a set of wheels that will basically allow you to buy the wheel and mount them normally as a traditional tire and just have a, a, a rock protector. And then we have a way that you'll be able to make it a functional bead lock, the same wheel. So we're really excited about that. Um, you can see this truck is sitting pretty high, right? It's on 37 inch trail grapplers, which are the ultimate Nitto off-road tire. These are the tires we race on. These are for any kind of conditions. Um, and they're just a really, real amazing tire. So of course our more hardcore uh, offerings uh, have, and we highly suggest people using Nitto trail grapplers with our products. Uh, up front, uh, we have our uh, upper control arm. So as you raise the truck, geometry gets out of whack. So we've designed a uh, billet upper control arm to help that geometry when you raise the truck. Uh, this is currently sitting on Fox uh, 2.5 Performance Elites. Uh, the rock sliders, uh, you can see uh, the rock sliders are super beefy, um, all tubular process, and these are welded to the frame. Uh, there's not so much body protection, but enough that uh, enough that you know most of the hardcore enthusiasts that have a lot of experience, these are absolute perfect because they will uh, they're nice and slimline, and you you know you won't find yourself getting hung up when you're in the big big stuff. So now moving over to the RTR and you know show you the comparison and differences. So you see we have our Tech Six uh, non bead lock. This is the 17 by 9 zero offset, which is what we suggest for the Sasquatch. And we also have a 17 by 9 30 offset, which we suggest for the traditional Broncos. Uh, doesn't stick the tire out too far. It gives you a little bit, little bit extra protection outside of the flare. It's just perfect. And um, that is what we suggest for these vehicles. Also has the Nitto 35 inch Ridge Grappler on it. Slightly bigger than the factory uh, tire. Uh, this tire is, I believe, the best all around tire for off-roading. It is feels amazing on the street. We've gotten 50,000 miles out of, out of Ridge Grapplers multiple, multiple times, and they're very, very capable off-road. I've had this thing rock crawling through Johnson Valley, desert bombing, just everything. They do everything. Uh, the Trail Grapplers are super aggressive, um, and they have gnarly, gnarly traction. That's really the only difference you'll, you'll hear or you'll, you'll notice aside from, you know, these are much, very, very quiet on the street where the trail grapplers have a little bit of noise. Uh, moving on to the rock rails. Uh, these are bolted on. They're very beefy, but they're bolted on to the factory mounting location. They offer a lot more body protection. Uh, they also double uh, as a step in case you need to get up on the roof. And the rear here has a rear tire kick out. So for those of you that are running in some tight trails, uh, you want a little bit of extra support in case you know you get a little bit too close to something, you don't wanna get into your body, this is what this is for. So you can come up on a tree and it'll effectively push you out. Uh, very focused on design and style and the cohesive look I mentioned. Has some great functionality, but it is a very uh, you know multi-purpose unit. Whereas the fun haver part, is for hardcore, not getting caught in the rocks, protecting your body. All right, so now moving on to the rear, we'll start with the Fun Haver Off-Road setup. So you can see uh, the rear bumper, right? Very much focused on high and tight. Uh, all function, huge, huge advantage when it comes to departure angles. Uh, very strong, again, plate steel. Uh, it was designed to fit a 37 inch uh, tire on it and you know everything everything fit finish everything is, is really nice we also maintained the sensors so for backup sensors and all of that uh, we'll have an option with and without depending upon what package you have again uh, very functional stylistically i think it looks sick uh, but a very very functional piece those of you that need that bumper know it so i'm moving on to the rear of the bronco rtr uh, you can see the rear bumper is not as high and not as tight as the Fun Haver Off-Road Bumper. However, uh, very stylistically flows with all of the other tubular 
style points that we have. It's a very, very stout piece. You know, it's got your recovery hooks, everything you need. Of course, parking sensors and all of that stuff is, is integrated in there. One of the reasons why it's not as high and tight is because we wanted to allow this to also be a step as well as, you know, if you're, uh, you know, got your, your Type S Blizzard box fridge in here, you know, you can set and kind of set up a little bit of, you know, your drinks or sandwich settings or whatever when you're in the field. So we really like that. Uh, this is a removable, uh, very simply removable license plate frame. So if you do go off road, you don't want your license plate on for some reason, you can yank that off. As well as one of the other really cool things that we've developed, uh, we've noticed that the factory uh, tailgate, especially when it has a good amount of weight on it, uh, it can overextend and perhaps get into uh, the rear tail light. So we've created a part that stops that. Uh, and it basically limits the throw because we have also developed uh, what you see here, which is a spare tire carrier with the modular accessory mount system that we have developed. And so basically what you get is these billet, uh, billet hinges and then we have this tubular structure that goes, you know, goes all the way over and holds a tire. Uh, it's a lot stronger than the production tire carrier, but also allows for you to mount the accessories that you need for your adventures or overlanding trips. So we have a, obviously a high lift jack here, bolted in, very easy solution, very easy to put on and off. Uh, this is a uh, accessory mounting plate. So we'll have some accessories for it. We have a Jerry, uh, Jerry can mount, uh, other mounts that are available, but traditional Molly uh, approach where you guys can strap these things into various, various ways. There's also this same bit right behind the tire. And this can also, the tire can be adjusted back and forth if you need to carry more behind it. So this is a really, really rad system. Uh, the tail light goes, uh, adjustment goes up and down uh, depending upon the tire size that you need. So it is capable, uh, we designed it to be capable for up to 40 inch tires. Well, that's it for my walk around of the Bronco RTR and the Fun Haver Off-Road Bronco product line. I uh, hope this helps you guys decide what it is you're looking for when you're going to hook up your Bronco and make it suit your lifestyle. Two very different offerings for people with very different needs. And uh, we put a lot of passion and pride in these products. And uh, I love every single one of them and hope you guys too. Most importantly, as always, make sure you have fun. Woo! Thank you.